hey guys so i'm back i'm gonna be doing a voiceover today i'm just doing a little like light calm soft glam beat i guess you could say my friend's gender reveals in a little bit and i wanted to record this for you guys because i didn't really like my 12 minute challenge one so um i'm just gonna do this voiceover because i'm jamming out i'm on the phone with my girl i'm on the phone with my girl so i hope you guys enjoy So for starters, I'm going to go in with my Kapari um, lip balm. You know, I got to keep my lips nice and moist before I start my makeup. Can't have no dry lips, girl. So I'm just going to apply that to my lips before um, I start my makeup. And I got this from Ulta for, I think, $3, $4. It wasn't that expensive. So um, here I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier and I think it's medium deep. Yeah, it's medium deep. And I'm basically going to put this all over my face because I have really oily skin and I had watched one of Jackie's videos. If you know Jackie, you know who I'm already talking about. But I watched one of Jackie Aina's videos and she said that patting your face with well, like using a beauty blender and patting down your setting powder on your face helps the oil oiliness go away and I have really oily skin so I'm just doing that real quick so now I'm gonna go in with my uh, benefits brow pencil and I'm in the color I use the color fives because it's more pops more on my skin it's like more of a blackish brown it's not black but it's definitely a dark brown and here I'm just gonna take my sweet ass time fill in them brows baby because you can't go nowhere with no busted brows so I may be doing this for a little while so I'll come back when I finish because my brows usually take longer to do because I'm so focused and I have to like you know your brows aren't supposed to be sisters supposed to be cousins whatever however the saying goes so i'll be having to take my time to make sure they at least look like cousins so i'll be back once i finish my brows but yep i use a brow benefits brow pen brow whiz pen whatever you call it and um i'm in the color five i'm using the color five and i have a little trick that i usually do when i fill in my brows um instead of using a heavy hand i use a light hand and i try and do strokes instead of just swiping it on the strokes make it look way more um, natural they make it look more like brow hair so yeah and now I'm going in with my wet n wild concealer brush um, I got it from Target for like 89 cents super good and I'm gonna go in with my Tarte shape tape in the color rich and I'm just gonna conceal that out if I can find it. I don't know what the hell I'm looking for over there. And this is in the color Rich, guys. And um, I really love it because it's super dewy when you first use it, but it dries super quick. It's really matte. So my suggestion is you work pretty quick because it will dry up on you. So work quick pace when you're using it. So when it comes to shaping my brows, I tend to like outline underneath my brow as like close to underneath the brow that I can, but um, sometimes I mess up because I always want the tail to be long, so sometimes I work too hard on the front and then not enough in the back or too much in the back and then not enough in the front so it doesn't look natural enough. So I'm going to be here for a little while trying to get these brows to cooperate because they was not fucking with me at first so yeah and take your time don't rush um i usually have to do my brows for a good 15 to 20 minutes because they just have to at least be somewhat looking alike i mean you don't have to be exactly alike because your brows aren't the same um, but you definitely should take your time when you do your brows because you'll be looking crazy if one brow is a whole different shape than the other one and girl I have done that before 
So I sit here and take my time before I even think of going on to anything next. When you're using your concealer, just look at it as an outline. Like, you know how when, you know, you have those stencils in kindergarten and you have to, like, basically outline the stencil so it looks exactly like the shape? Think of it like that with your brows. Like, make it the perfect shape that you can and use the concealer as a way of just cleaning it and making sure that it looks neat and crisp because that's what you want your brows to look like. Crispy and clean, girl. So here I'm just cleaning them up again. Um, I tend to usually go back even after I finish my brow to just make sure that they both look like the same dark enough, I guess. Because one time I made my one brow darker than the other. So one brow was light and then the other one was dark. So go in at the end when you're finished and just make sure like they're even as far as darkness. Um, I usually fill in the ends more darker, but I want to know if you guys want a brow routine. I'm still learning how to like get like an everyday routine for my brows, but um, let me guys let, let me know in the comments if you guys would like a brow routine because I think I'm getting better. I used to do my brows crazy, super thin, just super dumb looking, but now I'm getting better. So let me guys know if you want. Um, an updated brow routine. I'll give that to you guys, promise. So now I'm looking again with my looking ass and I'm going in with the NARS um, All Day Luminous Foundation and I'm in the color Carcanonum. Can't, can't say it, but I'll definitely leave it in the comments. So before I even do that, I'm going in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, this is my favorite. It smooths out your skin so good to give you that nice airbrush look. Um, and it makes my makeup just look so much cleaner. So I'm just going in and putting it under the spots I usually feel like are my like weak points when I'm taking pictures. Like I usually look like under my eyes, always look baggy. So yeah. And um, I'm using the A Cosmetic, I think it's called the Airbrush Foundation brush. I'm not sure, but I'll let you guys know in the description too. But I'm just going in with my A Cosmetics brush and just putting that NARS foundation everywhere. Just getting all chocolatey. And make sure you guys get everywhere when you're putting your foundation on. I tend to miss a lot of spots. Like sometimes I don't even get my entire forehead. And on the other side looking stupid. But um, just make sure you get the whole perimeter of your face, your chin. If you want your neck. I be doing my neck sometimes just when I feel like it. But definitely make sure you get every angle of your face so you're not missing a spot. And your shit doesn't look all blotchy. Because I tend to do that from time to time. So I'm not even going to hold you guys. When I was first putting this foundation on, I was like, oh my god. I got darker because, I don't know, at first when I applied it, I just felt like I looked so orange. But um, it actually wasn't finished oxidizing, so I didn't really stress myself out too much about it. But um, it definitely scared me at first. I thought I would have to go in with my Huda foundation to mix with it, but it oxidized. I just had to let it sit for a minute. And then I'm going in again with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Rich, because I'm a rich bitch. And I'm just concealing under my eyes, because we can't do no creases, girl. I gotta look sharp. So I'm concealing underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, 
Um, I can see it underneath my nose too, like above my cupid's bra, I guess you could say. Because I tend to get like a lot of crease lines when I do my makeup there. And it just ruins my pictures. So I do that. My forehead. I don't usually do my chin. I only do it sometimes. But I guess today I chose to do it. But I don't really usually highlight my chin. I just don't feel the need. I don't see what the need is to it. So um, now I'm going in with my Mario Badescu. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but girl, I don't care. Um, I'm just spraying that with my beauty blender. Um, I got this beauty blender from Target. I think it was like a Sophie something beauty blender. It's really good. It absorbs really good. And I just am using my damp beauty blender to blend out my concealer. But my concealer, like I said, dries pretty quick. So there's really not much that has to be blended out. But... Um, I just go with my damn beauty blender and just make it all clean, you know, and I go in precisely Especially when I do my nose and underneath my eyes Because I feel like when you're blending your makeup and you're using a beauty blender You can get really sloppy sometimes and just let it smear so I try and take my time when I do that Get every area precisely so when I do my contour, it's nice and clean and I can just outline it just like how I did my brows outline 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 so now guys I'm gonna go in with my new hourglass foundation stick and I had seen a video with Aaliyah J and she had recommended it because she uses it as a contour stick so I'm gonna use that as my contour because I usually use my Fenty and I just wanted to try something new um, but before I do that I first went in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and then I realized that it just wasn't bright enough for me especially if I take pictures tonight and the flash is on so I uh, ended up going in with my Too Faced setting powder um, I really like this setting powder it's super flash approved okay it reminds me of the Sasha Buttercup too so if you don't have time to go on Amazon and order Sasha Buttercup because I think you can only order her stuff on Amazon or another third party site I would just head to Sephora Ulta and get the Too Faced setting powder it's really good especially for us chocolate girls um, and it's 100% flash approved so I'm letting my um, highlight bake right now I don't usually like baking for a long time because it makes me look ashy but now I'm going in with my hourglass foundation stick and as you guys can see I'm a little bit confused because it's like it looks like the same color as my foundation so now I'm trying to use a brush basically to see if it'll apply better if I use a brush but girl $46 out the window uh-uh like this will be going right back to Sephora bright and early the next morning because this is this is not it like I was better off sticking with my Fenty girl this looks just like my skin color. It's just really not dark enough for me. My Fenty is way darker than this. Um, it's not super dark, but you can tell it's a contour stick. Like this is just so like blends in with my foundation itself. I cannot even, I can't get chicken with it. I really can't. I'm over here looking crazy. Didn't even blend out. Didn't even blend it out because it just looks so dumb and it kind of sits dewy on your skin like I don't really know it's really just not what I expected it to be I thought it was going to be thicker like how my Rihanna Fenty is and it's just not it girl so now I'm just brushing off the setting powder from my face I think I baked enough I don't really like baking like I said for a long time so I am brushing off all the excess powder. So I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner, black eyeliner. I got it from Sephora as like one of those free mini gifts with your points, I guess, whatever it is. So 
So I'm just brushing away the excess powder first because I'm still feeling like I look a little ashy. So um, I'm just making sure that I got all the powder off my face and everything is just blended in. I'm trying to blend in the contour, well, foundation contour because it really just, like I said, it's just on your face really dewy. You have to blend it all the way out. So um, I'm just going to go in here and I'm lining the top part of my lid. I'm not doing a wing or anything special. I'm just lining the top part of my lid so when I put my lashes on, the band isn't as visible because I feel like now when I'm back to wearing strips, I hate, I hate, I hate when you can see the little rubber band part of your lashes like on the strip. It just, I don't know, it's a pet peeve. So I'm just outlining my, my eye. Um, and now I'm going in with my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This is my favorite palette, guys. It's perfect for if you just want to do neutral, calm colors. And I am going to go in with Rustic and Orange Soda. And I'm just going to blend those out on my lid. I, you don't even need concealer. Like, I barely have concealer on, my, on top of my lid. But you just don't even need concealer to like make the color pop they're just so pigmented and that's what i really love about her palette so i'm gonna go in with the ardell remy lashes and they are in the number 776 and i'm gonna put you guys on because those are my fave they look like nice wispy hybrid lashes and every time i'm watching a youtuber's video they never like to be putting this on guys like i don't know why like, I always feel like YouTubers never want to put you on to their lashes. Like, you gotta literally do your research. So, I promise you guys, I'm always gonna put you on to the best lashes because if there's one thing I love, it's lashes. So, um, I am going in with this glue from, I don't remember, but it's really good glue. So, I'll definitely leave that in the description too. But um, I'm going to go in and apply my lashes. I'm not going to do too much because I'm going to make a separate video also on how I apply my lashes. Even though I barely have any real lashes right now. So that's why it's super easy. But um, I'm just going to show you guys how I do my lashes. Because there's a lot of tricks that people post. But I really had to just learn on my own. Because it's so complicated when you don't know how to apply lashes and then you have curly lashes i have super curly lashes they aren't really that curly now because like i said i had individuals for a while and girl my lashes are fucked but um, i will definitely show you guys uh, how i make it super easy to put my lashes on i literally put them on in like a second and usually they used to take me like a good 25 minutes just to apply my lashes are super curly but my best advice to beginners especially if you have curly lashes like mine get you some tweezers girls tweezers are the best when it comes to applying lashes I mean they are like I don't know what else to say they're just the best way to apply lashes so that it sits exactly on your lash line and you don't have your lash sticking to like you know your eyelid so I definitely recommend get you some tweezers so now that I got my lashes on I'm just gonna go in with my bare mineral setting powder it's like a setting powder slash bronzer I guess it's in the color cocoa and I'm just basically going to bronze up my face you know make everything look okay I'm trying to put more so of it in the areas that I contoured because like I said that contour foundation stick whatever the hell you guys want to call it is trash basura okay so I'm just trying to make sure that I look all right because that just was not doing it for me and I like using this sometimes to outline um, my contour and I bring it up to like my brow bone and then the tip of my nose it just makes everything look more cut crease I feel like I'm still learning guys so I'm not the best at describing everything but give a girl some credit for trying so now I'm just going in with this really cheap mascara I got from Ulta Beauty 
Um, I think I paid like $3 for it. It's really good and it's super jet black. It reminds me of the Chanel mascara that I usually use. Um, I really like it and I'm just brushing out my under lashes right now. So now I'm just going in with my soft glam palette again and I'm just adding some more rustic to the crease in my eyes just because I want it to look a little darker. Um, I did have a little fallout which I think you guys can see but I don't really care. Just going for a simple look anyway so yeah. So I'm so mad guys, my camera didn't even record me doing this bomb ass lip combo. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I used. I used the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the color 4. And I used my Boy Bates Lip Gloss from MAC on the bottom of my lips. And then just topped it off with some lip gloss from MAC as well in clear. And now I'm just spraying my face with the Morphe Setting Spray. I love the setting spray because it holds your makeup in place and doesn't make your makeup look too dewy and greasy. So I'm just going to go fix my hair and throw on a shirt and I'll be right back. Okay, honey. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yes, bitch, you looking good. So, this is the finished look, guys. Um, oh, yeah, that shirt was not going nowhere that night. Definitely changed, but yeah, this is the finished look. I actually really like this. It's super, um, just soft. It's not too much, not too little. And yeah, I really love this, especially with my long hair. I'm feeling like mini Nikki right now. And I was trying to do an outro, but my friend ruined it because I was on the phone. So forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Bye.